Mace Edward Christopher Weber III, born March 1, 1973, is an American former professional basketball player. Weber played 15 seasons in the National Basketball Association, NBA, with the largest portion of his career spent with the Sacramento Kings. Drafted number one overall in the 1993 NBA Draft, Weber became a five-time NBA All-Star, a five-time All-NBA Team member, and the NBA Rookie of the Year. He also played for the Golden State Warriors, Washington Bullets, Philadelphia 76ers, and Detroit Pistons during his NBA career. Weber was a former National High School Basketball Player of the Year who led his high school to three Michigan State High School Basketball Championships. As a collegiate athlete, he was a first-team All-American and led the Michigan Wolverines 1991 incoming freshman class known as the Fab Five that reached the 1992 and 1993 NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Championship games as freshmen and sophomores. However, Weber was indicted by a federal grand jury and stripped of his All-American honors by the NCAA as a result of his direct involvement in a scandal involving payments from boosters to players. Weber is an on-air commentator for NBA games and has taught at Wake Forest University and Morehouse College. He was inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 2021. Weber attended Detroit Country Day School from 1987 to 1991 and at the time was the most recruited Michigan high school basketball player since Magic Johnson. Weber led Country Day to three MHSAA state championships. As a senior in high school, Weber averaged 29.4 points and 13 rebounds per game. He was named Mr. Basketball of Michigan and the 1990-1991 National High School Player of the Year. He was named MVP in both the McDonald's and Dapper Dan All-Star Games. After graduating from Detroit Country Day School, Weber attended the University of Michigan for two years. While a Michigan Wolverine, Weber led the group of players known as the Fab Five, which included himself, Juwan Howard, Jalen Rose, Jimmy King, and Ray Jackson. This group, all of whom entered Michigan as freshmen in the fall of 1991, took the basketball team to the NCAA Finals twice, losing both times. The Fab Five, sporting long, baggy shorts and black socks, became immensely popular as they were seen as bringing a hip-hop flavor to the game. Four of the Fab Five, Weber, Rose, Howard, and King, made it to the NBA. In their first season, the Fab Five led Michigan to an NCAA championship game against Duke, becoming the first team in NCAA history to compete in the championship with freshmen as all five starters. Chris Weber stands tall at 6 feet 10 inches or 2.08 meters. About Chris Weber personal life. Weber has a personal collection of African-American artifacts which he began collecting in 1994. He began collecting them upon entering the NBA, starting with the purchase of two slave records. Weber believes that these artifacts are a reflection of his beliefs and aspirations. He initially collected them as encouragements to face life obstacles. However, he had no intentions on exhibiting them until the growth of his collection prompted additional storage. His collection includes an original 1901 publication of an autobiography by Booker T. Washington and various documents, letters, and postcards signed by Frederick Douglass, Martin Luther King Jr., and Malcolm X. When not on public exhibit, the artifacts are stored at the Sacramento Public Library's archival vault. In previous years, the Chris Weber collection has been featured in Crocker Art Museum and Wayne State University. On June 28, 2007, Weber unveiled his collection of African-American artifacts during the Celebrating Heritage Exhibition at Charles H. Wright Museum of African-American History in Detroit. During a news conference, Weber said he believed that children can learn from these artifacts. Hopefully, when children see them, they will see there is no excuse for us not to be successful. There's no excuse not to find something that you love to do. There's no excuse to not work hard at it. Chris Weber has made significant contributions to philanthropic causes throughout his career. Let's explore some of his remarkable efforts. In 1993, he founded a foundation which aims to support youth and families in need. It focuses on providing assistance to those facing challenges. Chris Weber's commitment to philanthropy extends beyond financial contributions. He actively engages with the community to make a positive impact. 
Chris Weber was honored as the Sacramento Make-A-Wish Foundation's 2003 Wishmaker of the Year. His involvement with this organization demonstrates his dedication to granting wishes and bringing joy to children facing critical illnesses. In 1999, Chris Weber created C-Web's Crew, a program that provides tickets to at-risk youth and their families for every Sacramento Kings regular home season game. By giving these young fans the opportunity to attend games, he promotes inclusion and inspires future generations. Chris hosts Bada Bling. Weekends in Las Vegas to benefit the Chris Weber Foundation. These events raise funds and awareness for his philanthropic endeavors. Weber founded the Time Out Foundation, which focuses on providing positive educational experiences for underprivileged youth. Through this initiative, he empowers young minds and encourages their growth. Chris Weber's legacy extends beyond the basketball court, leaving an indelible mark through his compassion, generosity, and commitment to making a difference in the lives of others. About Chris Weber Professional Career Weber was selected by the Orlando Magic with the first pick of the 1993 NBA Draft, becoming the first sophomore since Magic Johnson to be a number one overall draft pick. The Magic immediately traded him to the Golden State Warriors in exchange for Penny Hardaway and three future first-round draft picks. Over his 15-year NBA career, Weber made $178 million. With the Washington Bullets, Weber was reunited with his college teammate and friend, Juwan Howard. He spent the next three years with the Bullets, later renamed the Washington Wizards, although in the 1995-96 season injuries limited him to only 15 games. Weber rebounded the following year and was named to his first All-Star team in 1997. The same season, Weber led the Bullets into the playoffs for the first time in nine years, but they were swept by the Michael Jordan-led Chicago Bulls in three games. By 1998, Weber had established himself as a great power forward, but his time in Washington had also worn out. When Weber arrived, the Kings also signed small forward Pages Stojakovic and center Vlade Divac and drafted point guard Jason Williams. In his first year with the Kings, the lockout shortened 1998-99 season, Weber won the rebounding title averaging a league-high 13.0 rebounds per game, ending Dennis Rodman's seven-year run as the NBA's rebound leader. Under the guidance of Rick Adelman, the Kings team made it into the 1999 playoffs, where they lost to the Utah Jazz led by future Hall of Famers Carl Malone and John Stockton. In February 2005, Weber was traded, along with Michael Bradley and Matt Barnes, to the Philadelphia 76ers for power forward Kenny Thomas, forward slash center Brian Skinner, and former King Corliss Williamson. Weber took some time to fit in with the 76ers system, which was geared toward star guard Allen Iverson. While the Sixers reached the 2005 playoffs, they lost to the Detroit Pistons. In the 21 games he played for Philadelphia in 2005, Weber averaged 15.6 points and 7.9 rebounds per game on 39.1% shooting. Following the 2003 microfracture surgery on his knee, Weber had lost lateral quickness and was seen as a defensive liability. On January 29, 2008, the Golden State Warriors signed Weber for the rest of the season. Terms of the deal were not disclosed, but the San Francisco Chronicle reported that he would receive the prorated veterans minimum of $1.2 million, approximately $570,000. This came after a rejected offer by the Los Angeles Lakers who were trying to coax Weber in with two 10-day contracts so they could decide afterwards if they wanted him the rest of the season. This also put to rest talks of joining the Detroit Pistons, Dallas Mavericks, or retirement. He played in only nine games for the Warriors, averaging 3.9 points and 3.6 rebounds in 14 minutes per game. About Chris Weber House Chris Weber, the retired NBA forward and a member of Michigan's Fab Five, has made waves in the Malibu real estate scene. His sleek, modern abode in the coveted beach community is now up for grabs. Let's explore the details of his stunning home. The contemporary house, built in 1995, graces the Malibu coastline with 180-degree views. It's a true coastal gem. With three bedrooms and three bathrooms, the home offers comfortable living space. The telescoping glass doors in the living room allow seamless indoor-outdoor flow. The master suite is a tranquil retreat, complete with electronic shades and a spa-like bath. 
Imagine unwinding here after a day at the beach. A secluded backyard hides a lap pool, a spa, and a private sunning area. Perfect for soaking up the California sun. The house spans approximately 2,900 square feet. Weber listed this property for $3.995 million, which is slightly less than what he paid for it in 2007. Besides his Malibu home, Chris Weber also owns a 140-acre estate in the Atlanta suburb of Tyrone, Georgia. This impressive property, purchased in 2005 for $2.8 million, features a three-story house with an 8,000-square-foot party barn. Adjacent to a 15-acre lake, there's even a man-made sand beach. Whether it's the allure of Malibu or the tranquility of the Georgia estate, Chris Weber knows how to make a statement with his real estate choices. Chris Weber boasts an estimated net worth of around $70 million. Thanks so much for watching our video. Please like, share to your friends, and also subscribe to our channel.